All right. Welcome to the Reserve Grade 2023 Grand Final. Live to you from Devonport. I've got the teams just uh, making their way out onto the field now. Looks like there's about 3,000 players out there. Referee today, Michael Evans. And I have got uh, a special guest today who's come along to uh, help with the commentary in the grand final. Nipper Hayes, welcome, Nipper. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, mate. No trouble at all. Glad that you could uh, come. I'll throw to you whenever I need uh, some wise words and special comments about the action. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no, no issue at all. Should be, uh, should be a great game. It's probably, probably hard to pick. Uh, Bernie had a... Very resounding victory last week in their game against East, whereas Launceston had a bit of a slugfest against Taruna, which they did win quite comfortably. I think it was about 66-22 or something like that. But um, Taruna were very short on players, so it was kind of expected. But uh, we see both teams out there ready to go, and Launceston running down the hill in the first half. No, you guys up here love running down the hill in that second half, uh, Nipper. <laughs> Yeah, well, it um, it does give you a little bit of ascendancy, like, and um, yeah, obviously it just uh, stops the quads burning as much as they would be. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so expect to see uh, expect to see the team running downhill in the second half scoring more than uh, more than the team running downhill in the first half. But uh, yeah, very entertaining game we're going to have in front of us today. It's a bit of a breeze out there today, so hopefully that'll um, hopefully that'll carry on and um, give teams equal advantage over the two halves. Yeah, that's what. Where is it? Sort of blowing left to right. I what, didn't quite pick it when I was out there. Yeah, it does swirl around a little bit here. Um, we're kind of a little bit enclosed, so once the ball gets up a couple of metres, it tends to do what it do what it wants to do after that. Right. All right. Well, the kickoff hits the dirt and bounces out, and uh, game started. So we'll uh, see what happens. Got a line out down here to Launceston. Yeah, you're right. The, it's hard to pick that breeze, isn't it? It's never, never really blowing uh, in the same direction. I don't know what's going on with that. Actually, maybe may feels at the moment like it's coming from behind us and blowing straight across the top of the camera. Ball comes down. Oh, knocked on there by Druava. Couldn't take it. Might have been, uh, might have been backwards though. And so Launceston take it down the blind. And we'll look to try and exit this defensive end. Good pressure in the tackle there from Bernie getting up quickly. And ball comes back. Booted out of there by Saini. But he doesn't find touch. Dropped by Bernie, but goes back. Oh, hammering tackle there. Great, uh, great defense by Launceston working together. But uh, the big boy, Ali Lamita there, makes a few yards with the ball, bustling forward. And they go around that short side again, Bernie. Around about halfway. A lot of talk early. Launceston, solid defence so far. Another good hit there. Brad Vanderdrift copying one. Seems like Bernie is struggling to make the advantage on there. Oh, mean saying that. <laughs> yeah, just get around and look for the pop pass there, and it wasn't on. Austin Reeve there trying to do the right thing, cleaning out and not expecting that uh, that Tongan ball coming up off the ground that we're going to probably see all day. <laughs> but we'll come back for the penalty. Great to see... Uh, Michael Evans out there getting the gig today in the grand final. He's stepped up into uh, refereeing the senior men's this year and has been doing a wonderful job. So great on you, Michael. Thank you. And, oh, they missed touch. Got to look out back here when the ball gets in the hands of these boys. Got the headgear on there that's oh. not done up nearly the intercept. <laughs> Launceston still maintain it, but lose it on the deck. Absolute chaos in there, Nipper. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of confusion, I think, by both sides there. Um, mind you, though, the grand finals are always a different set of biscuits, aren't they? Like, uh, anyone who turns up on the day can have it. Yeah, absolutely. That um, Just that mental pressure 
that you feel when it's the grand final. My word, it can, uh, yeah, it can definitely take its toll. It can get into people's heads and uh, can uh, create opportunities or even worse, create mistakes if you're uh, on the receiving end of it. Absolutely, and we've got uh, first scrum opportunity here for Bernie there. Hunter Cooper with the ball in. Trying to dig it out, but it's a great scrum from Losses and eventually gets out. His pass doesn't find the target, but goes through the legs of Bentley. Fortunately, uh, I think Foliaki cleans up out there for him. It might have been Varka. And Bernie have just managed to hang on to it. So, Faifo, he's had the ball a couple of times. He's a big, big fella, Motu, and he hits that good line. And then Lamita comes in. Those two will have a big impact on this game if they can get the ball in their hands repeatedly. And solid contact there. This time, Latu coming in with a good hit. Bernie's starting to use their forwards well. That first couple of minutes, they seem to be a little bit flat and a little bit lackadaisic, but it seems like they've... Uh, decided that they want to have a go now. Yeah, hopefully for them, just blown those uh, first moment nerves out a little bit. Starting to sort things out. Lamita again with a run. The defence has been great from Launceston. They've been very, uh, just very good in their line, making sure there are no gaps. Disciplined. Very disciplined. They're definitely not waiting for it. They're really up on the front foot and they're... Uh Pressuring the Bernie Fords. Yeah, they've got around here, though. Found a bit of space out wide. She said just those, uh, the inside defenders there got up really quickly, but the uh, the wide defenders just stood back. And Bernie there now uh, with, the, with the penalty right on the five metre. It's a perfect shot there. And out they come. Dish the ball out into the hands there of Kalfanu. He's close, very close. <laughs> I think you just about throw a blanket over the entire uh, 30 players for a moment there. <laughs> Looked like under eights for a second. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> following the ball. They want some. Yeah. And here he is, Lamita. He's over. Is he going to get it down, though? Referee's in the perfect spot to see it. And held up. So great defence from Launceston. And Bentley wants the ball, so I'm not well, sure. No, isn't, aren't they kicking? A kicking. I don't know what uh, what Bentley thought was going on there. He must have thought that they had a penalty. Rules a couple of years ago, he thought he was getting a scrum, <laughs> I think. That's right. He's <laughs> forgotten. Forgotten. But he's got the ball in his hands now and carries it back inside the 22. I think they've stolen it. No, nearly, though. Cooper now with an opportunity. He'll dish it out. He'll look for Kalfana. No, he finds Faifo, oh. who bustles through. Look at him go. The big fella, Motu. Oh. And he's over. So what a start there. The big fella, Motu Faifo, puts on the first try after some uh, long period of pressure there. Probably four or five minutes continuous Bernie having possession. And he's going to be hard to stop if they let him do that all day. Broke that first tackle and just uh, kept that momentum, didn't he? Just kept moving. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't stop him once he got yeah, once he got through that first line of defence and he saw the goal line. Just unstoppable. So great, uh, great run from Motu. He's carried it about four times now, I reckon. Wonder how his fitness will hold up. Second half will be uh, quite telling, especially if they're going to. Um especially if they're going to use him as a ball runner as often as they have, especially in this first quarter. Well, first five minutes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it seems longer, doesn't it? <laughs> Pretty short, though. Conversion's good. And so Bernie take the lead, running up the hill. It's just uh, that, yeah, that, that first tackle there that uh, Motu was able to break through. And that really gave him a uh, head of steam to get uh, get to the goal line and to end up running about 12, 15 metres nearly once he got that. So, uh, yeah, good run there. Launceston just were just, you know, praising their uh, tight defence. They just let it let it slacken off a little bit there. So, see what they've got from the kickoff. Maybe the forwards need to have a chat to themselves and start looking at each other. That's right. Well taken back there by Reeve. 
so well defended. And here he is again. Faifo <laughs> breaking tackles again. Just managed to have uh, Lolan Punner hang on to him to take him down just with the one hand. Very, uh, very hard to hard to pick the in the shadows on the screen. Sun shining in, and Launceston still tails up now. Get that ball back into possession. No, Bernie now with the balls. Dish it wide again. Oh, got to be careful with those high tackles. It did slip up, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. So just been uh, just been shy of the chin, I think. Another one there, getting very close to over the shoulder. Aggressive tackling, though, from uh, Nettie Francis from Launceston. Oh. And a good counter ruck oh, here. Man. Launceston will win this. Fish. And they pile in. It's well done by Bernie's uh, defence there. They get the ball out wide. And find Togofie, and he's through. So the tackles slip off from Bernie. And Launceston, all it takes is uh, that one... One foray into Bernie's defensive end, and they're over. Just come all the way back. See, the, the counter ruck was exceptional. And who gets this ball out? It's uh, Saini playing at fly half. He spots the space out wide, and he gets it off to, um, to Sonny, who takes it all the way through and puts it down. So... I really think the great vision. Backs will be having a bit of a chat to themselves after that one. Absolutely, yeah. Disappointing there for Bernie. First, uh, first real opportunity to have to defend out wide, and they just let him through all too easily. But yeah, great vision by um, Josepha Saini. As I said he's playing um, playing at fly half, but he came in and put, picked that ball out of that ruck, and he saw that it needed to go wide quickly, and rewarded his team. Conversion no good. Nearly 10 minutes on the clock and two points in it. There's been a lot of footy has been played in that 10 minutes. Of, uh, she's been um, very up and down. I think uh, we've got uh, Sonny Tavalagi here. He wants to have, do some commentary too, I think. <laughs> 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 no, he's walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just enjoying the shade <laughs> in the tent. Anyway. Kickoff coming from Bernie. And, oh, look at the height on that. What a kick. No one chasing it really, though. And falls to Launceston. Get the ball outside the 22. And pick and drive just to make a few more metres. Good option there. They may get this back, Bernie. He was rolled the wrong way there. He's kind of got himself a bit caught up, the young fellow. And they have. You're right. Well picked. Well picked, Nipper. It's a penalty to Bernie there. I think uh, the Launceston player in the ruck there just sort of going off his feet or not supporting his body weight. Got his hands on the ground to try and defend that. Yeah, he's got turned in the tackle and he's uh, facing the wrong way. He's facing towards Bernie and that's uh, always a bit of a recipe. That's right. Difficult. And when you've got so many bodies, it was in very uh, very tight there. And very hard to get that ball back and his team couldn't, uh, couldn't support him. So, Reeve with the throw in. Beautiful shot on the screen there. Look at the throw too. First year rugby player there. He's... Uh, must have learned a few things from you, Nipper. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever played against him, I think, mate. Like, yeah. Oh, well, first year player, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that's right, he only played this year. I actually used to teach him a long time ago, Austin. Okay. <laughs> it's been a big journey from uh, Jeeveston to playing rugby for Bernie. And here they go again, the emus. Get the ball around. Faifo, the try scorer, looking to find... Oh, the spin. They can't stop this guy. He is massive. And the arm's out, though. And the try is given. Just a discussion there. The big lad's tucked it under his arm. He's, he's gone there. He's done the old washing machine. And then I think he's... he's um, <laughs> 
He's just fallen over right in the right spot, so, I think. And I think he's done now. He's <laughs> <laughs> Here he so, is. Look at him go. The dummy bounces off the tackle and then takes how many? There's five there. <laughs> by, the by the time Barry gets in there, no, he takes four with him. And I think his body weight was about the equivalent of the whole lot of them. So exceptional work. And Motu has scored a second try. Puts Bernie back out to a seven-point lead. And you're right, he is. He's going to have a rest now, get some H2O on board, yeah. <laughs> I reckon. And, um, yeah, just dishwear some legs. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Two tries in 13 minutes, that's, uh, that's not bad from the big fella. Playing at number eight too, actually, but he's, I think he's not looking in quite the, uh, the shape that we saw him last year. I don't know if, how much rugby he's played this year, but uh, obviously enough to be in this team. But... Um, yeah, great work from him. Yeah, well, obviously there's a reason why they put him on. So, and conversion just just off to the left. So it'll stay there at 12-5. But high scoring game. It keeps going like this. We'll uh, certainly have some high scores by the end of the game. Someone probably needs to tell them they don't need to work on their percentage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I think uh, Bernie had a massive win against Easts last week. Launceston had a pretty comfortable victory as well, so neither team had a had a hard road through the finals last week. But um, oh, look out! <laughs> Lamita jumps for it and leaves it, oh. and touched down there by Bernie. So that'll give Launceston a great opportunity here. This is a good uh, good place for a scrum. We. 30 metres out, I reckon. What do you reckon, Nipper? They'll take the short side or are they going to swing it wide on our near side here? I reckon they'll try and unleash the backs. I reckon they'll, um, they'll come out to our, off to their left and I uh, reckon you may even see the full back or number nine out there join the line, come looping about. That's right. Full back out is the full back, so that's uh, Silicio Nisaratabua. He is an absolute flash, but he's standing way around on that uh, on that short side, and he hits it, and they go that way too. Oh. He's uh, he's oh, they've gone a forward forward pass, and we've got someone down. Good defence there by Bernie. I think uh, half back there, Drew Arva didn't quite have the have the space that he needed, and nicer Radabua had gone a little bit early. Catch that again here. Nice Aratabua. He, he goes now. Sorry, Nice Aratabua had already run. And, oh, look, there we go. Oh, gee, we got it maybe almost tipped up there. <laughs> he let him down softly, but I think he'd done enough by that point that the referee wasn't happy. That's right. And uh, he'll follow the uh, follow the laws to the absolute letter, Michael Evans. That's the way he referees. So you won't get away with anything vaguely like foul play directly right in front of him like that too as well. All right, another chance for Launceston here. And win the line out. Druava though, chips. Not a, not a good option in there in traffic. Just needed to hit that through and try and find someone a bit bigger than him. So Bernie, turn it over. And they'll look to clear. It's a pick and drive. Yep. Number nine yeah. hanging on the outside there. I don't think he's letting the Fords do some work. <laughs> That's right. Cooper, he's really good, actually, young hunter. I need to stop calling him young hunter. He's been doing this for a little while now. But, um, yeah, he's a very good director at halfback. You need to see him all the time, hands out, pointing, yelling, talking. Digging in for the ball. And now they go wide. Bentley can't take it, though. The wide pass out in front of their... Uh, Captain Coach, he wasn't quite quite uh, able to reach out for that one. Fortunately for Bernie, though, they had the advantage. 
good halves should be like Jack Russell Terriers, so you know they should be barking at you all day. Absolutely, and and Cooper is uh, he I think he's outstanding for a guy, you know, who's just coming up through juniors. He uh, he does a really excellent excellent job directing in there. It's good to see though that the boys are listening to him as well and um, accepting that he can see what's going on and. Uh, and uh, taking that decision process away from them because um, that's when things tend to get muddled up. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. So, um, kick. Obviously, the wind's just making a little bit uh, hard kicking from left to right here at the moment. So, Bernie, get that ball out, and they'll go for the line out. See Reeve, who's thrown a couple of, uh, couple of dead straight arrows down the middle of the line out, have another throw. As we touched on before, like um, once that ball gets a certain height in the air, it tends to swirl around a little bit, especially on windy days like today. But you kind of get a bit of a reprieve, especially when you're throwing here, like which can be nice. That time, there we go. So <laughs> we pumped him up. It looked yeah. all right actually from here, but uh, called not straight. I think the outside hand with the tap there, the clear signal that it wasn't uh, wasn't right down the middle. That gives the ball back to the Tigers, and Druava will have another put in here. Nice Aradabua at fullback now has come right out wide. He'll be looking to inject himself somewhere out here. And uh, as experienced and wily as Brett Bentley is, I don't think he's got the pace to cope with these outside backs. He's tried to pull Brendan Griffiths into the line with him. You can't, can't quite see this in defence, but oh, he's just in the end... Yeah. <laughs> In the end, the, uh, the free kick goes... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, felt, I felt that too. It actually, uh, it, it looked like that was going uh, to be a disaster for Hunter Cooper there running into those two. <laughs> but he, uh, he maintained his body weight against them, which was pretty good. But we've come back. I'm not sure why we've come back. Maybe the tap wasn't in the right place. And the ball comes off now. Oh, solid run through here. It's uh, Tana Suavne, and he makes a good 15 metres with the ball in contact. He's a big fella running in the number one there. He must have probably come on from Motu. And a good counter ruck from Launceston. The just pressure in there. Bernie still have it on their side. And now the ball comes out. Foliaki. Brett with his yeah. second carry of the day. Yeah, and they're on to him as well. Really up in his face. Had no space. Cooper, will he get oh. through? He gets past the first one. And they look to hold him up. A nice little snipe there by Cooper. Yeah, he's always looking. Bentley gets his hands on that one. He, I think he'll prefer uh, getting his hands on it a bit earlier rather than out wide. And that he, uh, was a good run. He loves people running off him. So as soon as the Bernie boys kind of switch onto that and start getting a few bodies moving forward off him, he'll, um, he's happy to dish it. Absolutely. He, he always runs, even in close contact, runs with the ball in front of him in two hands. Oh, look out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> look out, boys. Handbags are out. <laughs> Just uh, Scafidi having a conversation with Evans there about what uh, what's going on. Asking for an explanation. And Brendan Griffiths in there. He's also asking for some... Uh, <laughs> both of them trying to get the rub of the green from the referee. Trying to get a bit of clarity. <laughs> just to see where we stand. Yep. Looks like he's getting a decent explanation too, so... Getting his money's worth. Yeah, that's it, you know. <laughs> we all pay for tickets, so, you know. That's all right. Doesn't seem like the line-out's the option for Bernie, though. They've been a bit reluctant to go to it. Yeah, um, worried about the wind, maybe. Yeah, quite a few tap, tap and goes. Oh! <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Pressure there. It was actually really interesting. Um, Sayini, the small-bodied uh, fly half, gave uh, gave Lamita a really good shove back there with the support from a couple of his bigger bodies. But Bernie will have another crack. Foliaki running in, but again the defence driving them back. 
Now they come wide. They've got a bit of space. Griffiths, can he find somebody? He does. He gets it out to the wing. Senilolo coming in there in the 27 for Launceston, making a good hit on his opposite winger, who's probably about 60 kilograms heavier than him. Oh, a run oh, behind the back there. No, no, Foliaki. No. Nope. And someone's been dropped <laughs> in the, amongst all of that. <laughs> no, he's up on his feet. Yeah, it seems like it was a bit of a party in there, and he wasn't invited, was he? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not sure what uh, what we're coming back for, but we'll have a listen. <laughs> it's all all fun and games here with the Bernie uh, Bernie boys right next to the crowd. There's conversation out here about repeated penalties. I was about to say, Brett's hanging on to the footy like he's uh, yeah. like he's going to get it, but I'm not, <laughs> he sure wants it, that's, but um, no. not sure that's quite the way it's going to fall for him, unfortunately. No one seems to be certain what's happening. So we've got a penalty long arm. We've got to. A long arm. So I think they're going for the penalty for the uh, the obstruction with uh, with Foliaki running around the back of his of his teammates but uh yeah referee was having a conversation with alan scafidi from launceston about repeated penalties i thought but uh must have misheard certainly a lot of noise out there a lot of chirping a lot of calls yeah and yeah, that's not straight no no no, no. It's pretty rare when the line-out takes that long to go in. You can see there was a little bit of confusion as to where it was going to go. It's pretty rare that, that they end up uh, straight, those throws. Get a bit uh, anxious, I think, when you're throwing it in that you need to rush. It's always, uh, yeah, when the lifter's running around like a headless chalk and he's not quite sure where he's meant <laughs> to be, there's always going to be a few shenanigans. That's right. That's right. So the scrum will go to Bernie, opting for that choice. And Cooper will feed it in about 15 metres, Bernie's side of the half. And Launceston Good obliterating the Bernie scrum there, winning the penalty advantage and the ball. And away they go. Oh, he's picked out Brendan there. Yeah, he's absolutely. Straight through him. Straight through him. Oh. So Sosefo Soane there in the number 12 for Launceston with a mega run. He hasn't got up though. <laughs> nice hit and the flag goes up. Great defence and he's happy too. I'm not sure about the look away pass that's kind of led to that. But, yeah. um, but coming back though. If he'd found his target it would have been, it definitely would have been on for Launceston. I was about right. to call them the bumblebees, not the tigers. That's a bit naughty. <laughs> the bees. <laughs> the bees. We go back to <laughs> yeah, showing my age there. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they became the bees. I don't know if that was ever intentional or not. <laughs> I think they uh, were I they were black and yellow black tigers. Black and yellow, that was it, yeah. And then every, they <laughs> became affectionately or disaffectionately known as the bees. <laughs> But uh, they're still in it. Had a couple of, or three tries in that first 15 minutes, and then we've been a good 10 now without score. Game settled down. Everyone's blown that bit of pre-work out out, and now they're um, <laughs> now they're, they're exhausted. Now they yeah. <laughs> now, the, now the heart rate settled. We're yeah. uh, just shoveling across. Oh. That's a good ball. Oh, and the, oh, and the kick through himself. is pretty good too. Is it going to sit for him? No, He's Bernie, get there. Did he regather it? Oh, it's hard to pick. I, think I thought Bernie got it. <laughs> it's below the hill. I can't see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think Launceston had it in the end. I, I thought that. <laughs> I thought Griffiths might have gathered it, but yeah, the trench we dug in the off-season is playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you're right. The scrum goes to Launceston, so another good opportunity. And that was a uh, nicer Ratabua there, playing a fullback just with that kick through. He's very elusive and very quick. We saw him a few weeks ago against uh, Taruna, I think it was, at Launceston, and just, yeah, just really destroyed them. Very Unbelievable uh, injecting himself into that back line. Very sharp of him to see that space and to kick to himself. Very, very, very much so, yep. Well, yeah. the half has just tossed that in there, hasn't it? <laughs> Here it comes. They take it to the line. A bit of a switch inside. The defence is good. He's close, though. And then they all pile in. There's some hands in the air saying, yes, we've scored, but I don't think so. And driven back. Good defence from Bernie. Oh, well, I thought the ref was going to go in his half <laughs> then. <or. laughs> nearly got driven back on top of him. And Launceston really scrappy right here, going sideways in front. And Bernie win it. And Brett Bentley goes the quick tap. <laughs> it's oh, going to be... No, not, not today, mate, unfortunately. <laughs> Got to I don't do know if he wanted... Him. And I'm not sure if he wanted to run 100 metres from there. We're going to have a conversation. Referee wants to talk to the captain. No, he's going to pull a card out here. Is he? Number 26... Leaving his feet, coming straight Repeated over. Repeated, maybe. So, Sokovi mm. Karoi is going to have 10 minutes off. I suppose all these discussions about uh, constant penalties, he's decided to pull the. Yeah, pull I think you're out. right. And, and in, that, um, in that location, we're talking about right under the posts, I think. So, interestingly, though, they're in an attacking position. So, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, normally it's. Normally you tend to see the defending side copping the brunt of stuff like that, but um, obviously he's made his choice and that's the way the cookie's going to crumble today. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, yeah. Uh, I guess uh, anyone who's watching from home can go back and scrub back and try and find where that might have occurred. Um, but Karoi was nowhere near where the ball had stopped. So whether it was at some previous, uh, previous breakdown, I'm not sure, yeah. Anyway... Probably saved uh, Bentley from the fear of having to run 100 metres up the hill. And he gets around there and finds Vanderdrift in space. He gets through a couple of tackles. Very consistent is Brad. And then they look for some space out here. They've got plenty of numbers, but they run it. Oh, the tackle's oh. immense. <laughs> and nearly turned over by Launceston and knocked on. And <laughs> oh, interesting here too. We call it a high tackle. I'm not sure. High? Yeah. yeah. He's flat on his back. Let's have a look. I didn't think it looked too bad. Now it's a few phases away from this one, so we'll just see. Still down in back play. We'll persist with the uh, the replay here. Here we come. It's this ball here. Boom. Slipped up. It might have looked a bit ugly from. Yeah, I don't know. Over, so. Looked all right on the replay. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It like. Yeah. Doesn't look bad, but. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> flat on his back. <laughs> He's milked it, I reckon. <laughs> oh, well, the Academy Award goes to. He's <laughs> been watching the uh, the Soccer World Cup, I reckon. <laughs> uh. It's interesting. He's holding his head. He must have copped something. I, I, I couldn't quite pick it. But Was it his headgear that flew off? I thought it was one of the Lonnie boys' headgear that flew off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he certainly copped it. He hit the ground hard because that ball bounced out, but... Oh, we've gone the quick tap again, looking yeah. for a switch. And he go, oh, yeah, look at him. He links up out wide. The big fella. <laughs> Number that, three out there. That's uh, Wasi Halasima. Is that bump and ride? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Some big boys. Here we go. Run off him. He'll, uh... Yeah, Bentley trying to get involved here. Getting himself closer to the ruck. I think that's, a, that's much stronger for him. Foliaki gets past the first tackle and hit and drops it. And I think he's gotten away with it there. I think so. He and, did. Uh, you can see Launceston with their hands out. They're appealing to the touch judge. Yeah, he's, he's the wrong guy nothing. to be looking at. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. No help from the uh, assistant. And the referee was on the wrong side. Nothing he could have done. I don't think Evans couldn't have seen that at all. But um, Bernie still with the ball. Cooper. 
Oh. Should have passed. Oh! <laughs> Hands on, though. They should get a penalty here, Bernie. Well, if they were quick enough, Launceston, they might have been able to do something there. But That's um, right. The hands just went on the deck from uh, that first player on there, Lalan Punna. And it's just, they've lost it again, go. Bernie. The ball's come out. Now so Launceston have it. So can they get through here? Here oh. he is. Nice Rodabua. He's cut through. And he's going to, where is he, he going to run? He's been chased down. It's a great chase out there. A great chase from Fatongi Atau. But he can't get him. And nice Aratabua. There's going to be an assistant call on this one, though. I think we might end up coming back. Bernie were all calling for an obstruction, I think, with that run through. But no, the assistant's walking towards the posts. Oh, I think he was from the replay. It looks like he was fine, uh, number 15. But um, maybe there was something previously that he wasn't happy with. Yeah, try is... Good. And a bit of uh, shenanigans going on on the 22 there. I think as you say, the handbags were out again. Mm. Just a few, <laughs> few words. It is a bit of rushing. Yeah, it was interesting. Nice Aratabua, as he hit that gap there, there were a few Launceston players who just put their hands up in the air instead of chasing. Whether they would have caught him or not, I'm not sure, but they seemed uh, unhappy about something that happened through there. I'll yeah. tell you what, he stepped off that right foot and just put on the gas. <laughs> yeah, appealing to the gods like that isn't going to help you during <laughs> the right. uh, during the game. Uh, Sir! Maybe, maybe, before, Sir. maybe beforehand, but uh, like, uh, definitely not while you're in the motions. That's right. So this uh, will square things up if the conversion's good. Oh, it's not. He's been charged. Well done. You do not see that very often. Cooper and Griffiths. Cooper actually slipped and uh, Griffiths came from out a bit wider and they were all over it. It was a very slow kick, so good work there from uh, Cooper and Griffiths to put enough pressure on there to smother that. Not, uh, not good to take that long when you're only 10 metres in front of the posts. So Bernie keep the lead from uh, a great defensive effort there by those two. Scores 12-10, just for Krusty. Can't see the screen, even though it's six centimetres in front of him. And the kick is overbaked. And we'll come back. Scrum to Launceston in the middle of the field. It is the little things. It's the set plays and the, um, the starts and the kicks. It's the little things that will uh, keep you in it. And uh, if you keep making those mistakes, unfortunately, they will cost you. That's right, and yeah, one, one both ways there, I guess. So Launceston not making the conversion, but Bernie kicking that one out. And a great opportunity with a uh, midfield scrum here. Just remembering Launceston are a man down as well. I think still with only 14 on the field. Can't be too far away that yellow card. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't yeah, imagine. that's It'd only right. Be a couple of minutes. Yeah, the ball had been down in that half for a while, and the try being scored soaks up a couple of minutes on top of that as well. Okay, Bernie in trouble there for uh, just putting the uh, the drive on early, and Druava wants to go quickly, but he's not in the right spot. Refereed like that played in front of him by the looks of it, yes. I'd say. <laughs> And Lolan Pana. Good awesome. run from the big front rower. Oh, he Slips through the first two. Stepped out of two. <laughs> and a nice bustling run there from Berry. But he hits the deck and rolls oh, one extra. And they go quickly again. Oh, so Saini this time. Yeah, they let him, let him go this time. <laughs> Referee could see it, I think, is the, is the key. He's happy with that one. And Bernie now approaching halfway. Seen some uh, some good runs from from that ball carrier, and they've got some space out wide here. 
Is that headgear going flying again? I don't know who that is from Launceston. He puts the headgear on, but it's not strapped up, and it just keeps falling off all the time. <laughs> We're going to come back. Great way to appeal for a penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the ball away. <laughs> and we'll come all the way back to halfway. He's ripped my headgear off, sir. <laughs> Uh, look like Bentley wants to tap and go again. And he does. Oh, a Launceston player there just in the wrong, wrong yeah, spot there. And another penalty. Need to be careful, Launceston. Already had one in the bin. And warnings about repeated penalties. And now they're in defence. They need to make sure that they get it right. Good ruck defence there by Bernie. They've been pressured at the breakdown. Yep. Oh, a nice, nice ball, yeah. Bentley to Lamita. And Cooper now looking. Foliaki runs dead across field. Goes really wide. They find Griffiths. He's got some room. He doesn't look, though. And they keep it in. Really, that ball wasn't out. And there's the half. Call a half time with uh, 38 and a half minutes on our clock. So there we have it. So entertaining first half. That ball certainly didn't look like it was out, but may have just touched the chalk. It's good effort by Launceston to try and keep it in. Uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll take a break here. You can uh, track back and keep an eye on what was going on. We might be able to show you some highlights during the halftime break, but we'll be back in a few minutes uh, when we restart the second half with a close one, burning up 12 to Launceston, 10.
Okay, we're back. Second half. Get that camera exposure flickering a little bit. But uh, second half here. I need to double check on the numbers for Launceston. We'll see whether that yellow card is still off the field. He may be back on. Anyway, the ball comes down. Just clears the 10 by a few metres and Ooh. Scrappy Rock and Launceston have picked it up. Oh, a big run there. Bentley oh. just steals it straight up. <laughs> Excellent work. And wins the penalty. He goes the quick tap as well. He loves oh. the quick tap. Always wants to keep everyone on their toes. He's not happy, the young man who's just had the ball ripped from him, Dave, though. He's um, <laughs> a little bit disappointed in that. And offside as well. So, not going right for Launceston. Yeah, we, uh, I think we're back to 15 for Launceston. So no more uh, cards on there. Now Bentley's going to take his time. Have a think about it. What are we going to do? What, what's happening here? He's going to no. He's going to tap. Oh. <laughs> he straightens up. Who's where? Who's with him? The big fella. Tanganoa has a good run. But oh. They don't roll away. And Launceston with the ball. We're going to see a quick tap here. We do. Tim's no. Bernie yes. Play, Bernie player rolling after he's hit the deck. Oh, yeah. rolling it. Yeah, right. Gotcha. I believe. Yep. And Launceston now a chance to breathe. And they've opted for a scrum, right? Obviously right. don't want to kick here with the wind and not sure with the, the line out. That was, yeah, it's a bit brand new. But anyway, we'll, um, there must be some method to the madness. Absolutely. I think, like, the Bernie side, when you look particularly at the back line, they're a lot, lot bigger than, uh, than Launceston. Launceston will be looking to be running here. That set play should give him a bit of a platform. Hopefully uh, that five metre break off back off each number eight's back foot will give him that ten metres of space they need to unleash those legs a little bit and yeah. uh, get them moving. And then we'll take uh, ten minutes to set this scrum, so <laughs> <laughs> back, back to cold again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, into it here. So interesting choice from Launceston to opt for the scrum here. They had the ascendancy. It's a good push from Bernie. But well matched. Now Mosesa has the ball and looking for a little tricky move. Oh, they get it out wide too. Is that Rodriguez? I think uh, Seth Rodriguez out on that far wing for Launceston. Plenty of red jerseys out there though to cover. Yeah, take him out over the sideline. But uh, Seth uh, played in the in the game prior to this one for the Northwest Coast. Ah. <laughs> in the under 18s so playing uh, in that game earlier against Hutchins Bernie now with the line out just on the 10 metres on their own half ball oh, goes way over the back on. taken by Nathan Fiu and he dodges the first tackle and gets his team into a great attacking location inside Bernie's 22 and a wide one over the top here. Launceston, the big shimmy from uh, Tagafie, but they get him. Brett there with the attempted rip again. He was nearly successful too. It's a good, uh, good strategy. And in they come. So Launceston maintain possession, looking for someone. And they've got some space or oh, can't get it away. Good defense there from Bernie. Right in front of us here now. And a big run. Oh, gets the offload. Good bump. And Launceston hanging on. Oh, it looks like a little halftime substitution out there. I think he's at... Oh, no, sorry. Tell a lie. So I saw Dean Wallace out there for a second, but I didn't. <laughs> Haven't released the player on the ground there. And um, we called Maul. So, Bernie, get away with that one. Well done by Launceston to hold uh, hold him up there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Wallace is here actually today at all. Not sure if he's down for Bernie in their first grade team either. Oh. Bit unfortunate. Always a great competitor. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Very entertaining. I love love watching Dean play. He's one of those uh, yeah always hard at it guys. But, uh, Anyway, good scrum comes out the back now. And Bentley running off the back. Foliaki. So Bentley's got himself out of that back line. Launceston have stolen that. Nobody there for Bernie. I think that was a fair grab too. Yeah. I'd, maybe he was just a little slow to get there. I'm not sure. It certainly looked clean. <clears throat> and the penalty goes to Bernie again. Well, he was right there to make the call, so. Are we going for the tap again, or are we going to, <laughs> are we opting for the line? I think he's probably happy with the wind, you know, and he makes about six metres. Just gets his team five metres outside uh, of their own 22. Maybe a bit more than five. Brett's been a bit of a jack of all trades today. He's... Um, Forward running, uh, seems to be coordinating the backs as well. Uh, kicking for line, um, majority of the taps, he's uh, very much really putting his uh, footprint on the game. Yes, and then he's going to probably try and come out and do that again in the next game. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. over the back there, line out's not good, and Fiu gets another run. Maybe he's got a couple. Oh, they come in from the side there. Good Maybe. call, good call from out. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Michael Evans referee here. Every single time there's a penalty, someone's going the quick tap. They go yeah. again. Yeah. They go again. Maybe and Brett should start doing a few line out throws. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> Just so he can do everything. Well, I think he should go into halfback. Why not? And another penalty. So you can't do anything right uh, if you're in black, yellow, and red at the moment. And Bernie. Despite being in their defensive half, have got uh, got their tails up and winning all of the penalties. Launceston need to tighten their discipline, or they're going to really be in trouble. It seems like the ref's uh, right arm is a little bit sore. So, <laughs> <laughs> and we have a tap again. Vanderdrift. Ooh. Bentley just drops it cold this time. Bit of pressure on him, maybe not quite cold, just tepid. <laughs> He's probably uh, probably about time he gives someone else a go, I think. He's going to push him. I thought he was playing at number eight at that last, at one of the scrums down here a minute ago, but he's... I think he's, oh, he's, he's slipped himself out. Oh, no, he's... He's, he's coming in to the, talk to the front yeah. row. Just have a little chat to him, get him pumped up. He's very far offside to be a, a, a centre standing in between <laughs> the two front rows. <laughs> he seems to have uh, gained, his, gained the ascendancy though. So he's, and look, the left arm's up in the air again. <coughs> oh. to... Must be six, six penalties to Bernie and they've made about 30 metres. And here's Brett again, and uh, I don't think we're going to kick for the line here. I think we're going to see a tap and go. And away we go. hook up with Lamita here. No. Oh, dear. He's calling for the boys to get some depth. But, um, hey. I love it. I love that it sounds like it's hostile and everyone's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it friendly. That's right. Thumbs are up and yeah. yeah. <laughs> this like discussion here with the assistant. Looks like Brett's struggling a little bit down there. He yeah. may have copped a bit of a bump. Yeah, I don't know whether he may have, because he went down pretty low, whether there was a, a boot coming through as he went down. He certainly fell across the front of the defence. Uh, the last thing he'd like to see is a blue card or anything like Ooh. that. That's right. He's holding his head though. Hmm. Wait and 
see uh, what eventuates here. He is holding the noggin. He's uh, not happy. No. Unfortunately, it's not. He's rolled. No, not at all. And he's rolled onto his side even. It's not like Brett to. Um, onto his stomach. To be a showman like that. He, um, he's a pretty hard character, Brett. Yes. He seems to be composing himself now and uh, working out what's going on. Bit of a hard reset. Yep. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just gamesmanship. He's yeah, definitely held the head, back I, of the head there. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Evans has paid, like, you know, at, at this point, actually paid attention to that. He's been speaking with uh, captains from both sides. But he's gonna, he's coming, is he coming from the field? I'd say if he was, he'd be very reluctantly. Ooh, I, yeah. I can't see him. No, I think he's going to strap the headgear back Whoa, on. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's well just low. staggered there. They need, someone's got to talk to the referee here. No. Oh, my I word. Think he's he got the sea legs on, doesn't he? Yeah. By the looks of that. He's With got the power aid in the mouth. So That's you won't see help. that on the camera, but Brett Bentley has a trainer with him, and he's walking backwards, and he's just staggered. And now Evans is going to pull the blue card out. Is he? Oh, that's a damn shame. That's a shame for Bentley, but he did cop it, and moments ago he nearly nearly lost his feet whilst putting his headgear back on. Oh, no. Ooh, don't know. Don't like that. Well, Evans didn't see that, though, so yeah, that's uh, it interesting. Be, um, I hope he's all right. I hope nothing worse happens. Yeah, my word. Player safety is always number one, and um, yep. Oh dear! So the right arm goes up for the first time in a while, and it's the attacking team again who lose the ball. So Bernie going off their feet, Foliaki wanting to know what's going on. Ali Lamita there shaking out the right shoulder. A nice kick for touch there from Launceston. Clears them up near their 10 metre line. No, near, right next to halfway. Certainly a lot, uh, a lot quieter second half. This first 12 minutes of the second half, not a lot's happened. Compared with the first 12 minutes of the first half, we had three tries, so. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's just yeah. been quite a few handling errors, hasn't there? And it's just slowed the game right down and um, unfortunately brought the referee into it. Like, whereas if the boys could just um, play their game and uh, do their thing, there'd probably uh, be a lot less involvement from him. Yeah, a lot of penalties too. Um, probably had about eight, eight or nine penalties in this 13 minutes. Bernie now win the ball back. Driving into Launceston's half, picking and driving. And coming to the blind side again. Again, the pick and drive. And lay it back. Cooper now looking for Foliaki. Push it out wide. Backs are up. Find the big runners out there. That's. Oh, now we're going to have a card. Someone here has been naughty. So Launceston, number 21, is it? No. Who's going? And what's it for? No one uh, leaving the field. It's 20, it's Saini, I think. No, 21. Foliaki for uh, for Bernie. No, that's not Bernie. Who am I talking about? <laughs> oh, Brett there with a big carry into contact. Bernie, all the possession this half. So nearly 15 minutes down. They've had it pretty much for 14 of those 15 minutes. They're a man up again. Griffith slips. Oh. He needs some help. He gets there. Supports there. Oh. Taking out the halfback and the penalty will come. No. Turnover. 
No. It's all happening. It's a scrappy, scrappy game. And <laughs> quick tap again. I think he's pinned for leaving his feet there in the ruck. I think that was the call. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, tough. it's a tough gig for the team in possession. And now the quick taps come. We're going to see another penalty and another oh. yellow card by the look of it. I'm not sure oh, what's happening. Yellow cards everywhere. It's a second yellow card. They are flying out of his pocket at the moment. A lot of repeated penalties. I mean, Launceston, that'll be nearly 10 penalties for the half for them. All seem to be ruck-based. Yeah, that's right. Just really scrappy at the breakdown. A lot of, lot of offsides, a lot of coming in at the side, a lot of going off their feet. And Bernie not able to capitalise as yet, but they're now two players up. They just need to calm down, I think, Bernie. I think now's the time to slow it down rather than all these quick taps. They need to start to look at ways of exploiting their extra numbers. Wide ball. There should be a bit of room out there. And they take um, him out. So there's a good option there from, uh, from Cooper to look wide. But the defence got across really easily. <laughs> it's a very hard game to adjudicate, but no time to breathe in between uh, in between penalties and breakdowns. And Launceston lose that line out. Cooper loses it too. It's a wobbly old throw. And now it's come back, picked up by Bernie. We've got some space. Push it wide. And out they come. No, good tackle out there by uh, by Rodriguez. Got his bootlaces. And yes, there's space. Oh, <laughs> Cooper comes around. They've got him though. And oh no, that's going to Bernie as well. Coming back for the earlier indiscretion from Bernie. Oh no, or over there. Penalties everywhere. And the quick tap again. And it's Ali Lamita this time hitting it in. Pushing close to the line. Two points in it. 17 and a half minutes into the second half. Bernie frantic in their attempts to cross the line. Launceston ill-disciplined so far this half. They're very close. They've held him up. They'll, if he gets over the line, right. he's short of the line, so that ball should come. Oh, no, he's somehow scored under there. Rightio. Well, persistence pays off there for the Emus. They somehow managed to get that ball down in the bottom of that ruck. There was a mess of bodies there. <laughs> so he's done, done a uh, very good job to spot that one. Yes, that's right. My word. Very close to the sideline too. Yep. <laughs> we can see him back play. Someone else having a nap from Bernie. I'd be having a nap too. It's just been mad. Oh, it's Ali Lamita. <laughs> he's uh gets back up and he's going to have a chat with someone over oh, the that might have been. It might have been Brett. He's uh, holding the footy like it was him. So... Um, <laughs> Pretty handy close by, Brad. He's, um, yeah. He knows how to score a try, that's for sure. That's right. He's, uh, I thought he might have been coming back to kick the conversion himself too. <laughs> well. <laughs> but no, he's going to leave that to, uh, to Hunter. He's going to hand that, hand that responsibility on. Yeah. Um, he's got Krusty in his ear there. Yeah. I'm sure, that, I'm sure that's helping the headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the kick. Thumping no, kick. Across the front. It's a good effort. Oh. Had the legs, not the accuracy, unfortunately. So it feels like the, that win that was probably a little bit uh, more of a you know, bit blust, blusterous during the first half has died down a little at the moment. Light breeze more than anything. Yeah, the tops of the trees aren't swelling around nearly as much and um, yeah, it tends to give a bit of an indication that it's wooing off. Uh, must be getting ready for that little bit of evening still. Yes, hopefully it'll just die off completely for our uh, first grade match after, but we've still got this one to go. <laughs> oh. 
It's a good chase there from uh, the number 14 for Launceston. It was. Kelvin yeah. Chand didn't make much of an impact on the player he tackled. And oh, look, here we go. It's Motu, Motu back on again. He's been absolutely speed humped there. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Just dive in front of his legs. Yeah. <laughs> And as I, oh, he's back on, he's got 20 minutes back on Motu, so scored two in the first half. He's had a good 45, 50 minute rest. See what he's got. Well, if the boys can. Griffith um, loses it oh. in the flick behind. Oh, here we go. Look out. The speedster, nice Aratabua. Oh, great defense out wide. I think that's uh, Far oh, Ifo in the 21 word. out there. It was a crunching tackle no, by 41 for Bernie there too. He was, uh, really wrapped him up. Yeah, Lamita coming in. He's still down on the ground. <laughs> Off his feet, Ali Lamita. Maybe a little head clash there. And Motu again. Can he run 50? No, they take oh, him down. Got to get his ankles, and they do. They got some space if they can get it out wide here. There's a lot of real estate in that body, and if he can... Uh, if he can keep moving it the way he is, he's um, definitely a force to be Absolutely. reckoned Absolutely. Launceston go the quick tap. Nobody going with him. Just runs slowly into contact. Needs to be released. Knees Stolen while his knees are on the ground. And they got some numbers out here, Launceston. Oh, boom. And managed to free the winger. He manages, doesn't, doesn't get far inside Bernie's 22 though. Launceston now bustling in, that's oh. stolen. Great work by Brett Bentley there. Got his hands on that ball as soon as it, it hit the deck and dragged it back. Number five needs to get out of there. <laughs> Cooper wants a bit of space. Here we go, oh, they decide they're gonna pick and go. <laughs> oh, he's lost it on the deck there. Has the it, ref seen it? He's looking to the touchy for a second opinion. He's going for something else. The assistant referee's not talking about the knock on, he's talking about something else. So maybe a swinging arm there or something. And he's going to his pocket again, so. Oh. I didn't, uh, didn't catch that one, but we're going to see a third on the bench. Oh, that's 26. That's two yellows. Oh, that's a red. That's very naughty. So that's Sokovi Karoy. He had a, the yellow card in the first half. And he's received a second yellow card. And so he's going to be off for the rest of the game. And that's, that's tough for Launceston. So two yellows. And a red at the moment, down to 12. Yet somehow they're still in this game. Seven points down. Ali Lamita avoids the first one. Bentley takes it in with two hands. Finds oh. Lullen. Here we go. Oh no, the big fella goes for a run. Big head of steam. <laughs> Not sure who that is. It's a big run there from Bernie and another penalty. High Four tackle again. Launceston are going to end up with only 11 on the field at this rate. I think it was, he got done for losing his feet in the ruck. He was trying to have a jackal and I think he's just. <laughs> might have got a bit messed up there. Here's Brett with the hand off. Just watching, uh, we're just trying to hit up the replay and see what happened. Meanwhile, Bernie have uh, tapped and gone on and knocked it. No, we got another penalty, do we? What's happening? Mm. <laughs> Some very Launceston with the tap very and go. And the kick, there's no, oh, that was the worst place for that oh, kick. Brendan right. Griffiths was just getting back. They kicked it straight to him. And now he's gone away to the left, looking for a way through himself. Mm. Manages to get there. He's found rolls. a bit of traffic. Launceston very lackadaisic. Is it? We still I don't know what's happening here. It's like we, the have we lowest. Stopped or? <laughs> it's like there's no ruck. Everyone's just standing there watching the ball on the here ground. Oh no! Pick and drive. Pick and drive. Forward they go. 
And Bernie again just bustling metres forward. It's going to be really tiring for Launceston. They're down to 12. Probably a little bit worried <laughs> to um, get anywhere near the ruck now, Launceston, right. unfortunately, after all those penalties. Good work in the last lines of defence there from Launceston to hold Bernie out. But they get around. Oh, oh Griffiths no. nearly. It's been turned. <laughs> Off. Oh, Foliaki out wide. And he scores. Being rewarded. They're out on their feet, but they're happy. Bernie pushes them out beyond that converted try. But she's uh, some scrappy rugby going on out there. Really not doing a great job of taking advantage of being three players up on the field, Bernie. Not throwing it from one side to the other. They've just been trying to hit it up and trying to hit it up and eventually wasn't even a man up out there. Foliaki just, just got around despite there being a second defender coming across. The way it's looking though, it might be enough for beers tonight though. Yeah, it's definitely a, a hard uh, hard road here for Launceston. 12 points down now, the conversion to come. And we see yellow card player coming back on shortly, maybe the first one. And the kick no good. So 12 points in it. Brett barking a few directions there. That's right. This is the tightening up phase. Are they going to put the foot down and uh, run over the top of Launceston? Or are they just going to try and tighten the screws and keep that lead? I think the, I think the call there was just take it in, take it in. So... Um, be interesting to see uh, what happens. It's a nice high short one. No one really chasing it. And here's Motu. Foliaki. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh he's destroyed. He's got meters. <laughs> as soon as he gets wound up, he's a hard boy to stop. Absolutely destroyed the massive body of uh, to is it <laughs> Tom Berry. And Bernie now making meters easily. Foliaki, the short one. Lamita, he's been very good today. I don't think he's had a rest yet. And then the penalty will come. I think the calls for Motu to get some. Here yeah. we are. <laughs> and he will. Uh, they get him low. Great work there. It's Seth Rodriguez taking the ankles. And then he comes around again, Seth. Another great tackle. Already played, uh, played one game earlier today. And he's out there now. He's limping a little, actually, Seth. Hobbling. Looks like an ankle problem. We're going to come back and another penalty. Another ruck infringement by the looks of it. Coming in on the side, yep. That will do it. Nobody likes a party pooper, and he was obviously late <laughs> to the party. <laughs> and they're going to go to the tap. Not going to soak up the clock. Oh, boom. Yeah, nice oh. work in there. Druava, I think, making the, uh, the low tackle. And through oh, Lamita goes again. Kept no. his feet well. Tanganoa. Just taking it slowly here, soaking up the clock, but making good metres now, Bernie. Launceston are just going to be exhausted. Push the ball out. Here he is. No, are they going to stop Motu? Oh, no. He gives it off it. to Griffiths. There's numbers out wide, is there? <laughs> Foliaki oh. throws it out. Finds a bay, Foliaki. Tried a bit of team play there, but um, probably the team play would have been just to walk over and finish it, Motu. I think so. I think Motu was only about five metres out and could have just done it. Boom! Oh, it's, 
been given a uh, bit of a oh hospital dear. one there, but uh, Brett doesn't mind it. <laughs> Offside's the call. Here he goes. He Quick goes. tap. He'll have one. And scores. Yeah. Whether that's his first or second, I'm not sure, but it's all burning now. Too, too hard. Launceston. I'm sure he'll play. Players down. And Bernie go up 27-10 over the top of a very depleted Launceston. With about 10 minutes left on the clock. Yeah, it looks like the possibly the two players, the yellow carded players, will uh, come back on. Just remembering that we saw um, Sokovi Karoi get a second yellow card in the second half, so he's off for good. And Griffiths taking a lot of time there to get his kick ready, just taking a drink. Kick's good. So 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes to go. Eight minutes to go. Bernie quickly get back to their feet in the middle of the field. And wander back. Just uh, number one there for Bernie, Tana Suavin. I'm just admiring the size of his calves. He, that guy is <laughs> a giant. <laughs> he's he's uh, had a few good runs as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, he's definitely, it looks like he's been doing a little bit of work at the, um, on the exercise line. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he is huge, and I'm glad I'm not uh, having been the one to have to stand in front of him when he gets that ball. <laughs> he's waiting out here on the wing, by the way. We're still talking about him, but he, he wants a run. Here it comes. <laughs> nice run there again from Bernie. Here they come. We're going to find he goes. him. He's going to use it. <laughs> oh, yes. He's away. Look at, Look at him. Suave. We've got down the sideline. He's fair. Oh, bump them off. <laughs> Stays on his feet. Oh, absolute beast mode. And Bernie with the pick and drive. <laughs> He's taking his time to get back to his feet, though. He's run about 60 metres with that ball. And for about 10 of that, had Silicio Nicer Radabua hanging off him. And Bernie now tails up. Advantage. Cooper. Oh, it's a hospital pass. But goes over the top. Griffiths slips again. He needs to get some uh, proper boots, Brendan. Needs to get the screw-in stops, I think. He the big 21 mil ones. <laughs> seems to have been a bit unlucky with that, hasn't he? He's, uh... Yeah, he slipped, I think, two or three times. but um, yeah, And they've scored again, Bernie, over the top there. I think that's um, a bye, Foliaki. All started by the big number one out here. Though. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable run there. Yep, Tana Suavin. Huge run down the sideline. He was, for about half of that, 30 metres, I reckon, he was within two metres of the sideline. And he's dancing in front of the crowd. <laughs> he looks like he's not having too much fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Got additional crowd here in the tent. Here he goes. Look at him down the sideline. Look at him fending off Nice Aradabua. And he just jumps onto him. <laughs> takes him with him. Eventually someone comes and knocks him to ground, but he pops it away. And the numbers uh, were there out wide. See Cooper, they got up offside, I think, as well. Kick's no good. Let's <laughs> try and uh, get a numbers, count of numbers. I think we've, I think both of our yellow cards are back on, so Launceston will be up to 14 now. It looks like big number one's having a rest. He's just sauntered off the sideline. I'm oh, not yeah. sure. He's... <laughs> Don't know if he's subbed or not, but he's... <laughs> oh, he's, he's got a, a pretty he some pretty heavy uh, tape going on, and Krusty's just trying to undo it. He's got the knife out, mm. ripping it off. He's going to come back on, I reckon. No. 
Yeah, he's done. He's taken the girdle off. That's there enough. he is, just on the left of screen there. Oh. Bernie lose it. And, oh, solid contact there from Lamita. Number six has spilt that clean down the front of him. Yeah. And now back in the hands of Bernie. Going to come back for the earlier knock-on. And referee Michael Evans at 35 minutes, which I think is actually the duration for the half uh, for, <laughs> for, um, for reserves. Calls it quits. And that is a very resounding and hard-fought victory to Bernie. Highlights for you, Nipper? Oh, definitely Brett, I feel. Um, yeah, carried the ball well and uh, looked to use the boys. Uh, There's a couple of cracking runs there by uh, uh, number one in the, in the red. Um, yeah, uh, Motu, obviously. Motu, <laughs> uh, Motu those uh, little 10, 20 minute spells um, definitely produced a bit of magic. Um, Absolutely. Produced a lot of headway, and especially uh, in that first half, he really set up that first half for Bernie, and uh, those two tries really helped them. I feel mentally uh, bridge the gap and uh, keep themselves in it. Um, obviously, there was a lot of uh, a lot of problems with the ruck in the second half. Um, who knows if that was down to um, player fatigue or uh, just maybe the way the ref was saying it. Like, uh, but it definitely. Um, yeah, definitely uh, gave Bernie that ascendancy that they needed to keep their foot on the throat for the duration of the match. Absolutely, and Launceston, after a lot of uh, even first-half penalties, there were warnings. They found themselves on the wrong side of the referee for uh, repeated penalties early on, and it just continued as uh, to, to get worse for them as they got more tired and uh, as they were, you know, players short as well. So tough day at the office uh, for Launceston, but again, the big boys at Bernie. It's all the big bodies, um, you know, doing great work, but also hard to uh, hard to not give a mention there. I, I did earlier to Hunter Cooper, just driving those guys and making good choices about which way to go um, around around the breakdown at the ruck, and then Brett Bentley coming in and just taking charge every time there was a penalty. He had a lot of taps, <laughs> a lot of taps today. Probably taps. pushing close to 20, I reckon, yeah, if we were to go back and count the number of penalties that uh, that they had. And so, uh, yeah, that, that certainly helped their cause. And um, that's not, not saying that, uh, that anything against Bernie, that they, that they didn't earn those things because they really worked hard all day. So great, uh, great grand final for those guys. There'll be an award ceremony uh, with medals for Bernie. But it's pretty pleasing to see Bernie um, come out and get their, get their hands on a trophy, I think. They've come a long way from, say, five years ago when they were 12 guys driving around the state every single Saturday. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's very, uh, very must commit. Well, I guess we must commend the club for, uh, for doing that and for getting this uh, community up and running out here in the Burning Rugby Club. But uh, we'll call it quits there. You can uh, keep the vision. We'll keep the vision on for a while and you'll be able to see the medal ceremony. But um, that'll be it from us. Thanks heaps, Nipper, for coming today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Cool. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. We'll be back with the match between... Bernie and Devonport, the winner of uh, the winner of which will have a home final next week when they replay each other. But uh, that game's bound to be a cracker, and that'll be up in about 15 minutes. We will see you then.